We hopefully see you uh, maybe in Star Wars soon. I How are you? I'm well, how are you? Doing really good. This, yeah. We enjoyed watching you in this movie. You yeah. know, you have such a, a strong character uh, in this one and a lot of other films you do as well. So mm -hmm. I'm just curious, when it comes to tapping into that that strong will, that, that drive, like where, where do you go to, to get that? Um, I mean, my mom is a brick house, so, you know, my family line is, is very strong and, and um, the tenacity of the people in my life has always been really incredibly inspiring and impressive to me. So I have always has that in my strength, but I feel really grateful for a lot of the people I've gotten to work with over the years yes. that have allowed me to kind of bring certain things to the characters that I've gotten the opportunity to play. and. Um, for everyone from Lala when I played her when I was 18 and it was just like I remember at the premiere I went into the bathroom and there was this girl in there she was like mm, <laughs> you mess with my dude what's wrong with you you so nasty da, 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 da. I can't stand you I want to punch you in the face but I felt you at the end though mm. and I was like <laughs> Because it's like, if you, yeah, she was conniving, she was doing all those different things, but if you forget that she's 17 years old, right. and that she's just scared and making dumb decisions, then For like, sure. don't be honest. You were, you were 17 once, did you do everything perfect? No. You know, so it's like that humanity, whenever I get an opportunity to kind of, if I can, if it's, if it's sometimes it's not on the page, and you just gotta give it with a look, or you gotta take a moment, whatever, but yeah. every time I've been able to get that in there has been important, and so for this character, I mean, she's going through it, For and sure. she's been a victim the majority of her life, yes. you know? And to see that she embraces that she doesn't know everything and she seeks help, like that's what makes her, her gives her her strength. Absolutely. And that was fun to show that version of strength, which is very different than, say, Gail. Right. <laughs> you know, there, there was, yeah, a lot of like, just real aspects of this film that I feel like uh, men and women both deal with in a lot of ways. So when mm -hmm. it comes to, uh, not only just the female dynamic of the film, because it was directed by a woman, it was written by a woman, it was starring two leading ladies. Mm -hmm. um, you know, what can audiences expect to see when it comes to just when getting into the mind of of, the, of this jealous woman and also one who's actually defending, you know, herself and her livelihood? Yeah, I, I mean, you know what I love is that they didn't try to make it. Oh, she's just psycho, and you know, this one over here, she's just you know just getting the short the short end of the stick or right. whatever. You know, right. it's like, no, actually, these are both women who in their own ways are striving to have the perfect life. Yeah. And like, you know, they're, they're, they're sacrificing a lot of themselves um, in order to get that. And I can understand, that's relatable, you know, and for a lot of women and trying to, rather than making a bunch of, bunch of different cruxes, it was like, they all kind of fall under the same umbrella of problems and issues. And I think that men can relate to that. And yeah. like, it's so it doesn't, it's, it's not necessarily, it's a, I think the fact that it was just from the woman's gaze, mm -hmm. as opposed to like, this is a woman, it's not a chick flick, there's a woman's story necessarily. It's just that it's from a different kind of perspective. Um, it really just felt really rich of just going, wow, the opportunities that keep getting missed. You know, and we right. as this, we, I kept saying like, we're in this like wonderful bubble as all these women talking to each other about like, oh, wouldn't it be great? And women, we get together, we're like sisters. But like we're showing this story, like women get together, it's not always nice, and sisters aren't always aren't always great with each other, you right, know. And like, right, right. what is that about? What yeah. what keeps degrading from the fantasy and the ideal to the reality? Mm -hmm. This whatever is it the patriarchal system? Is these traditions? Is it culture? Is it like, what is it? And it was really interesting. Like I was watching some of the people we've spoke with, and they're like, I come from a Latin background. I thought it was just on our sides of the family that the expectation of my mother, like, don't let that good one go. And she's like, I didn't realize, you know, so it's like, it's interesting. It goes beyond race. It goes beyond any of those different things and age, all of it. It's just really the values that we kind of put into stuff. And um, are we really to, to really kind of communicate about it and go, okay, this isn't great. Help me with this. Or are we just always kind of go, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. And wanting to give the highlight reel that doesn't last. Mm -hmm. Eventually that's going to break and crack. And, um, I don't know, I'm, I'm really glad that we showed people an entertaining way of looking in the mirror, hopefully. Very well said. <laughs> Thank you for your time, we look forward to more, and uh, we hope to see you uh, maybe in Star Wars soon. I know, keep putting them out there in yes, the universe. It's coming, it's coming. <laughs>